I bet. Just a minute. It lives, I see. Do you want to speak with Lolita? I'm sorry, but Gabriel's allowed. I mean, he's out. You know, you could do better. I know I don't know you, but you could do better. Bye bye Good morning. You look like hell. Did you have another nightmare last night? Yes. Because having nightmares is what I do, apparently. Seventh damn night in a row. I told you, it's that voodoo book you're researching. That stuff can seriously screw with your karma. Unfortunately, I don't think my readers would go for a horror novel about fluffy bunny rabbits. So voodoo it is. You mean your reader? She lives in Wisconsin, doesn't she? Bite me. Hey, what goes on in your bed stays in your bed as far as I'm concerned. I have messages for you when you want them. is one Gabriel picked up near a dumpster. Not too shabby, huh? Well, okay, maybe it is. Don't mind if I do. Do what? Oh, nothing. Got a minute, Grace? What's up? Tell me about yourself, Grace. What do you want to know? How old are you? Old enough to know about men like you. How do you like working at St. George's Books? Well, it's not exactly a huge intellectual challenge. Although the math in your record books could confuse Einstein. Still, I love old books. And it's a nice way to pay the bills while I explore the city for a summer. If you ever pay me, that is. Just tell me anything at all. I just got my master's in history and classics. My folks wanted me to go on right away for my PhD, but 18 years of school was enough. I needed a break. What do you do after work? I either go to my oil painting class or my Tai Chi. You know that. You can go overboard with this improving yourself stuff. You don't want to alienate us mere mortals. Oh, I suppose I should just allow my mind and body to atrophy. Works for me. How come we haven't gone out yet? I'm still waiting around for that lobotomy. As soon as I get it, I'll let you know, okay? Nothing, I get. Got a minute? What's up? Do you have messages for me? Your friend Detective Mosley called. Talkative, isn't he? Especially with you. What did he want? He told me to tell you that his mother's maiden name is Humphrey and that he left some photos for you at the station, at the front desk. 
It's about time. Let me guess. This has to do with the voodoo murders, right? Some kind of inside police information? Did you tell him you'd put him in your new book? Maybe. A writer has a certain obligation to his readers, you know. Gabriel, you know you'll never put him in your book. Your main character is a female orthodontist. You're going to be reincarnated as a pit bull if you keep screwing with your karma. As long as it's a male pit bull with a real head big. Uh, that's enough. Thanks. Did you find any good voodoo resources for me? The best in the city are supposedly the Dixieland Drugstore and the Historical Museum of Voodoo. Both are right here in the French Quarter. How would I ever manage without you? You? Give me a break. The devil himself couldn't change you. Well, if the devil had great legs, perhaps. Like yours. And a riveting personality, I'm sure. If you need any more research done, just ask. It's not as though we're swamped with customers. Do you have messages for me? You got a call from someone named Wolfgang Ritter. He was calling from Germany. He told me it was urgent. Maybe you should give him a call. Call Germany? Like hell. If it's really important, he'll call back. Well, fine. Let's just hope he's not with the German lottery for pitiful American authors. Could you do some research for me? Sure. What? I can't think of anything. What do you know about the voodoo murders? Just what I read in the papers, same as you. What do you know about voodoo? I didn't know much of anything about it until you started researching it for your book. Now I know that it's active in the city. There's that shop and museum. It can clearly be dangerous in the wrong hands. You should be careful investigating it. What can you tell me about knowledge? I've only been here two months, but I love it. It's so much more alive than any place I've been. It feels like anything's possible here. So, what's new, Grace? Your use of mathematics, for one thing. These books are unbelievable. What can I say? I refuse to be bound by rules. The strap marks on your bedpost speak otherwise. to look down my shirt one more time I'm leaving just trying to refresh my memory I know what you're trying to refresh and it isn't your memory get down Grace likes a little banker's lamp she has a soul of an accountant Gabriel looks at the cash register check him for cobwebs Gabriel opens a cash register to examine the take, or in the case of St. George's books, the mistake. It's a $20 gift certificate left over from yet another dismal failure of a promotion. Gabriel can't see a way to use that. Gabriel, that's all the change I have. Touch it and you can kiss your hand goodbye. Would I do that to you? Gabriel doesn't want to take that with him. keeps her art supplies here. Gabriel wouldn't dare touch Grace's oil paints. Cute gargoyle, eh? The gargoyle has no function but sheer ugliness. Not unlike... Oh, never mind. To 
Today's newspaper is on the counter. Times dated June 18, 1993. The Aquarius horoscope says, Potential storms ahead. Proceed with caution and do not get involved with anything new at this time. Hmm, right. has Gabriel's name on it, written in his grandmother's handwriting. Gabriel's father's old sketchbook sits on the top. I can go through the rest of that stuff. I'm going to take the tweezers for a bit. Good. You're beginning to look a bit scruffy. Mind if I borrow the magnifying glass? No, Sherlock. Just bring it back when we get the next estate shipment. My spare motorcycle gloves. Someone left those here after Mardi Gras. Local interest piece on the store. It didn't go on to the sympathy sales I was hoping for. Gracie's resume. She was way overqualified. And also the only person who applied. Not so lucky for the rabbit, was it? You can't take two steps down Bourbon Street without ending up with a strand of beads. I forget where that came from, but seems like a nice place to visit. Those keychains were for a promo I tried once, before I realized it was hopeless. I always had a thing for St. George. The one who slew a dragon? Yeah, it's probably bigger than this little guy, though. That's from Graham. She likes to think it means someone's watching over me. I'm not so sure about that, but I don't have a heart to get rid of it. The Blake Backlash series. My literary claim to fame, such as it is. isn't it? Gabriel didn't eat for three weeks after Spurgeon on that coat. He has a thing for black leather. Shut that refrigerator, please. Oh, I can smell it from here. Quimmer. Hmm, I might be able to use this black shirt. There's a flashlight on the dresser. The building's wiring leaves a lot to be desired. I might need a flashlight. The 
dresser holds a meager supply of underwear and 38 pairs of mismatched socks. Gabriel's desk has been gathering dust since he wrote his last novel. The wastebasket overflows with crumpled pages of mediocre glory. Gabriel's mini stereo isn't exactly high fidelity. Then again, neither is he. Block. I'll just leave it on. You're listening to KLEB and Dogs, where we play the best music 24 hours a day. At Giant Discount Bookstore, we discount every title 50%. When you see our selection and prices, you'll never want to shop with those little guys again. I want you to take hold of your prayer clothes. That's better yet, take hold of your radio and let's do a miracle. But first, I want to talk about doing what's right. Those of you who are out there listening to these radio waves of comfort, you know what I'm talking about. Gabriel's desk has been this gathering dust out into since the he wrote his last night. soul from the grasp of the devil himself. Oh, but now I don't have to tell I don't you that need the Lord's work does not come cheap, my friend. So I want you to get it right now. Take out my an envelope. Fill it with I've got to get around to cleaning up in there. Today. We both know that doing what's right. I ask you, my friend, have you done your share today? Or are you being carried by those dedicated souls who support this ministry with their generous gifts? I've got some things I need to do. Good luck. Dixieland Drugstore is closed until tomorrow morning. seem to be enjoying the park despite the lack of sunshine. You white face geek, you wanna eat my fist? I would if I had enough time to do it properly. the cherub is an aesthetic way of asking for donations.
The chancel of St. Louis Cathedral consists of a raised dais, an altar, two pedestals, and a choir area.